You already know by now. I'm pretty late. I'm pretty late. Uh, I made the mistake of, of in the free agency, I said, let me just wait till everything happens or like you kind of get a break in the action and then make a video about everything. Boy, did I learn my lesson. Wow. Horrible idea. Yeah. Uh, Y'all don't sleep for nothing. But I mean, people were breaking news left, right, center, then left again. They went back right. They were just breaking news, news, dropping bombs on us. The one I've been tapped into is, I think, Christina Williams. Christina Williams is just at Christina. Girlie will never miss. I mean, she's just hitting the nail on the head every time. <laughs> one thing about me, I'm gonna be tapped in to Christina. She's like the Woj of the WNBA. You know what I'm saying? All of those sources, y'all. I think y'all do your thing, but when Christina Williams said it, it's set in stone. It's basically a commandment at that point. So I was glued at that phone, but also I just saw a tweet. I turned off my notifications. So I have to like literally go in and check. From Bailey Caldwell at Sir underscore Richmond 20. He included me in a tweet, guys. What? I'm in there. <laughs> and then Subria included me in her girl the game post. I said, oh my gosh. Guys, that's, that's me in there. You know? I just that was so cool. I just thought I was like, whoa. Okay, but anyway, we're talking about the diamond trade. Okay, you're not gonna distract me, Bailey. Uh, Sabria, y'all not about to distract me from this three-team blockbuster trade. Because I have some things to say, okay? We haven't forgotten what's transpired last season, okay? Diamond to Shield, former Chicago Sky member. Got drafted there, team was looking like it was gonna be built around here, boom, oh switching directions. God. We got Candace Parker, we win now, win now. Then, Diamond says, I don't see a future here. I wanna be a starter, Ooh. The crowd went silent, then, bam! Three team trade sends her to the team she was just months ago battling against to win a chip and beat them. But there was some underlying drama if you don't remember Sophie Cunningham. <laughs> Crossed Diamond the Shields up and was doing the most about it on Twitter, Instagram, I don't know what the social media is, but she was she was kind of bragging and, and kikiing about it and now they're teammates. Wow. Shocking development. Shocking. So, how is this gonna work out? All right, well, let's talk about it. Let's break everything down. First of all, Phoenix basically gets Diamond, okay? Great addition, great wing defender, great in the open floor. We know what Diamond can do. I think people are sleeping on Diamond and a lot of their analysis about this, but we'll talk about that later. Phoenix gets Diamond shoot, okay? Now, the Sky received Julie Alamán, okay? And a 2023 first round pick. Now, what does Indiana get? Indiana gets, <laughs> it's just funny, guys. It's funny. They get Bria Hartley. And they get basically three picks, okay? They're three first rounders, I think, they have in this year's draft alone, which is just hilarious, seeing as though they've waved and cut the last two of their first round, like, top draft picks. So it's like, why? Like, you're doing this for no reason. Indiana, y'all are all over the place. It's funny, you know? I guess they're, like, securing their future, but, like, stop. Y'all cut everybody. Rock, paper, and you choose scissors every time you cut them. So... To me, I'm like, this is not a threat. You're gonna draft them, use them for a year, get tired, and it's, it's done. So, uh, you basically did nothing with this. You basically just got Bria Hartley, which is a great addition, by the way. Great guard, averaged 8.2 points per game over her career. You know, you got her, but the picks do nothing for you, sweetie. I mean, let's be real. Look at your history. Get with it, guys. Indiana, get with it, okay? You just, do you have a fever? You might be a little sick. Check it out because it's just not adding up to me. But Chicago, they're clearing up a little space. You know, Diamond already made it clear she wasn't returning. So at least in this scenario, they're getting something substantial back. You know what I'm saying? For losing Diamond. Julie is not none to play with. Julie made the all-rookie team in 2020. Julie averaged eight points per game, four rebounds, five assists. Period. Julie's not nobody to play with. So, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, don't, I, I, I told y'all too. I told us everyone was in a meltdown. I said it. Y'all can go back. I'm a really a prophet. I said, don't sleep on Chicago. I don't think they're like down bad at all. You know, we can't resign. I said, they're not down bad. You know what I mean? And then they add Julie? Do with that what you will. Now let's go to Phoenix. Let's talk about Diamond. Two year deal for 150 bands. Bands will make a dance. Last year, she averaged 11.3 points, 3.5 rebounds, 2.3 assists off the bench. Okay, she made it clear she wanted a bigger role. This is not really the role she envisioned for herself, which makes sense, okay? It makes sense, especially if you 
were like drafted by this team and you were like kind of the main girly and then they bring in other main girlies and now you're pushed to the bench. She played a role, you know what I'm saying? Props to her. And she clearly, I mean, she was killing off the bench. She was doing what she needed to do, but she knows that she's capable of more. I know that, everybody knows it. So, you know, I think she was looking for that in free agency. So it is a little bit like, huh. Cause you go to the Phoenix, where are you gonna be behind the big three? You know what I'm saying? Or I guess beside the big three, you got Diana, you got Skylar, you got Brittany. Oh my gosh, so I just ended the video, guys. I gotta insert this. Phoenix just signed Tina Charles. Oh. 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 They just signed Tina Charles? Well, um, I literally finished, I'm just gonna insert this in the, in the video. So I don't know where in the video this is gonna go. I ended it. He just signed. Really? Oh my, they said they're gonna apply maximum pressure. That is sick. She was last season's leading score. Yeah, you're done. We can all hang our hats. It's done. <laughs> I'm ending this video. This little clip is done. That's all I gotta say. So it's like you move to a team where you wanna be that girl, the material girl, and now you're beside the big three. See what I'm saying? So, uh, a lot of people were talking about that on Twitter, but to me, I think Diamond, not only does she make the best of her situations, I think she can do that, but like, she'll also, th I think she'll thrive there, you know? I don't think she's gonna be pushed to the to the background. I think she's gonna thrive there. Only question is, it's just you and Sophie, girly. Uh, to me, you gotta get your look back. Um, it's Black History Month, Diamond. If you don't get your look back, that's now reflecting bad on us, and the ancestors are also watching. Um, you know Sophie, you know the the history. You know what I mean? She's following Candace Owens and the Trump Trump and just, you know what I mean? Time it. So it's good to squash the beef. That's what King would have wanted. That's what King would have wanted, but at the same time, I have a dream. I have a dream that we see in some practice footage of you taking ankles and taking names, Diamond. You gotta get your look back. It's that simple. You gotta get your look back. This is the enemy. You really joined the op. If we're being honest. So to at least not get your look back, especially during Black History Month, would be really uh, an abomination. And truly letting down the community as a whole. So it's on you, girly. The ball is in your court. But in all seriousness, I think she's fine. You know, I think a lot of y'all are kind of exaggerating a little bit. But in all seriousness, I think she's fine. Okay, I think some of y'all are exaggerating. I'm the, I'm a prophet. I'm calling it. She's gonna be able to do her thing. You know what I mean? She, diamond go diamond regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling it now. She's got it. She got it. So, but that was a crazy trade, though. You know, I think everybody benefits in their own little way, except Indiana is just off in their own world. Uh, girl, you know you're not gonna use the picks. You just stole them. You're wasting them. <laughs> Let's be honest, and that's brutally honest for me. But with that being said, who do you think won the trade, okay? Leave it down below in the comments. I really wanna know who y'all thought won it. If I had to choose, it depends. It really depends because who's gonna, re who could really repeat? I honestly think both teams are in a position to repeat. You know what I mean? So I guess it's just about who's a better fit, who's a more immediate, like, lift, and then who Chicago gets. We haven't seen their full, you know, obviously, the roster and then how the rest of free agency shakes out. We don't know who each team is gonna still add. Phoenix just signed Tina Charles. So it just depends, but let me know what y'all think, okay? Click down below to subscribe and then follow me on my social media to stay tapped in. Um, I'm gonna be covering more free agency, guys. I, I can't sit on the sidelines and wait till it's over. So you're gonna be seeing videos dropping like bombs. But thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.